All right, today we're going to talk a little bit about Kleinfelter syndrome and also Marfan syndrome and uh, some birth defects common with Ashkenazis. See if it all ties together. See if the puzzle pieces fit. So uh, this uh, Kleinfelter syndrome, um, it's like they're kind of um, uh, like a hermaphrodite, but uh, they just, they're men, but they lack the testosterone, basically. So um, it, it's a genetic condition where a male is born with an extra X chromosome. So XXY, uh, and problems with production of testosterone, and that plays a crucial role in male sexual development. So that can affect testicular growth and uh, micropenes and stuff like that. And symptoms kind of vary and not everyone experiences the same conditions and they have like therapy for it. But um, so when I'm looking a lot at, at male celebrities or the ones that present themselves as male, it looks like maybe a lot of them aren't. Uh, that's not necessarily trans, but potentially just they have Marfan syndrome. Like they're so, um, it's intentionally done to them in, in utero with hormones, or it's just the result of inbreeding or something, or using the same genetics in their little Petri dish IVF, IVF clonish type deals or whatever they're doing. Because I don't think a lot of these, like the, the women celebrities are, are male to female, it appears. And it looks like a lot of the males are these uh, Kleinfelter. And you can see, basically, like I said, they have uh, very small testicles and a micropene. In some cases, no testicles. And uh, you see they have the hips, the curve, they get breasts, lack facial hair, stuff like that. And uh, when you look at like Trump and Bill Gates and Elon Musk, uh, they look like this. So we're going to explore later some celebrities uh, that have either Kleinfelters or uh, Marfan or both. And we'll talk a little bit about Marfan later, and I'll show you some examples of Marfan. But all of these so far are real-life examples of people with Kleinfelter. So they're basically males, but they don't get enough testosterone from the start, and they end up uh, like these andro or just, you know, androgyne or hermaphroditic uh, would be the term most people would use, I guess, but it, it seems like they're just males that lack testosterone. So I found an article that tells you about celebrities uh, that, that that have Kleinfelter. I think that seems like Kleinfelter and Marfan may kind of be related in a way. I'm not sure, but you know, I have no way to verify this. I didn't check if all these celebrities admitted to it, so you can tell me what you think based off of their uh, features, right? So there was Tom Cruise, uh, Michael Phelps, and you'll see a lot of these, um, they almost look like Neanderthals, right? Like um, Tony Robbins will, will be in here. And, uh, but, uh, you know, even uh, when I looked and just asked uh, Google, you know, who, who celebrities with uh, Kleinfelter or celebrities with Marfan, and it was returning names like George Washington. And, you know, all presidents are related. And if these traits are genetically passed on in some way, whether it's through these IVF Petri dishes or they have some way to breed or they use surrogates or whatever, it would make sense why so many celebs have it, right? And why so many celebs look similar uh, because they all uh, have similar um, genetic disorders, right? That cause uh, abnormal features, right? And these, these androgyne, you know, looks, right? And uh, yeah, it's interesting that Richard Branson runs Virgin Airlines. So I'm thinking if a lot of these people are uh, Kleinfelters or MTFs and stuff, and they don't really have, um, they're not really equipped to penetrate and do the graping associated with the stuff in Schmitzagate, uh, maybe they do harvest the, you know, adreno juice stuff, but... Um, the whole graping story is just uh, like a big distraction, like a big, um, look at this Neanderthal, this mongoloid, um, like to almost insult us, insult our humor, or insult our intelligence and, and mock us, right? And uh, yeah, here's uh, supposedly a celebrity that was open about having this Kleinfelter, was a model, a supermodel in Australia. And um, you can see these, just these, you know, these, Similar features, and this one almost looks like pink or something, right? And then there was a Bond girl, Carolyn Cossey, uh, born Barry Kenneth Cossey, assigned male at birth, but apparently had Kleinfelter, ended up going from the male assigned at birth to uh, transitioning and went by Tula and was in a James Bond movie and even in Playboy. 
and according to the article I found, you know, Charles Barkley has a uh, Kleinfelter. So he does have an interesting kind of plumpy little round, Humpty Dumpty, you know, shaped body. So who knows? And then here's what uh, Google tells me uh, celebrities with Marfan, Abraham Lincoln, Michael Phelps, uh, King Tut, uh, Julius Caesar, right? Uh, why would, if it's such a rare disease, then why would so many uh, people in, you know, uh, these elite positions have it, right? Hmm. Uh, I wonder if they're all somehow genetically related. Like I said, whether they're, it's, uh, and that's why they have it, this limited gene pool and then and, and these birth defects. So Marfan is supposedly an inherited disorder that affects connective tissue and uh, the fibers that support and anchor organs and it affects the heart, eyes, blood, vessels, and bones. Usually tall, with thin, with long arms, long legs, long fingers, and long toes. Um, and they do have to have like medicine and glasses and surgery and stuff like that. So we'll see some pictures and examples of people with this Marfan syndrome. Uh, like scoliosis. I mean, this is obviously a very extreme case, but immediately what I think of is um, Akhenaten, right? King uh, Akhenaten, the the e Egyptian pharaoh, and I have pics of him later with this weird, you know, just this weird shape with these spindly arms, and, uh, and kind kind of see some, uh, you know, in some of these just like Quasimodo humps and sometimes androgyne features, but. It's just like, um, if you've ever seen, uh, what is it, whose toes, Megan Fox's toes, or, uh, no, Megan Fox's thumb, but it's like maybe Kim Kardashian's toes, and um, her feet, and uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene got some weird feet, Steven Tyler has some weird feet looking like this, toes crossing over, and they call it some some syndrome with the toes from like tight shoes or something, but maybe it's just all this Marfan, I mean, Steven is tall and skinny and lanky, and... Uh, yeah, just, I don't know, this this seems to be offering a lot more puzzle pieces that seem to be connecting, and it seems to lead to whatever they're doing, it's a very limited uh, gene pool, and potentially they have controllers who uh, don't want them to be fertile, you know, like Sandra Bullock. Bullock is a castrated calf, and they do that to keep them docile and obedient, but they also can't breed on their own free will then, right? And uh, so I don't know, just a theory, just a thought. Um, just exploring this whole thing gave me some new ideas, like, uh, like I mentioned throughout this video, but, uh, more about this, you know, supposedly it affects the FBN1 gene and, uh, it's an autosomal dominant inheritance. So one parent has to have it, but there can also be spontaneous mutation it can arise, uh, when no parent carries the gene. So, uh, who knows? I'm just giving you the narrative on what these things are and how everything connects in my mind. You know, obviously the stuff that you get when you just type into Google isn't going to be 100% accurate. I'm going to get the narrative. But uh, yeah, here's Akhenaten. And you see just the spindliness and that, that, that weird, like overlapping weird stomach I heard has been associated with uh, Marfan syndrome as well. And I'll have some more pics of, uh, you know, um, Akhenaten's body and the way that's depicted. You see... That's like the hips or the above the hips, I guess, the side, the love handles above there where it just there's too much indentation and then like the poochy weird stomach, like, uh, yeah, probably uh, Marfan, right? Marfan. And then his da his wife and his daughters even um, have the cone heads, right? And they all wear the hats that maybe cover that up. Why does the Pope wear a funny hat? So, and then Rothschild, Jacob Rothschild has one of these heads and he's Ashkenazi. So over the years, have they lost some of these conehead traits, uh, but but suffer still from the, the birth defects. And, and if you're Ashkenazi, I'm sorry. I'm not saying you're inherently evil um, or anything like that. And I'm sure there's other, um, you know, uh, ethnicities or phenotypes that, that, that have unique traits like this that might come from inbreeding. But even the, the narrative, right, says that uh, there's founder syndrome and a small pool and stuff like that. Look at these conehead babies. And um, so, yeah, and, and it's just a fact, right, that Ashkenazis have, I don't know if I want to call them Jews, they supposedly converted, I think, have something to do with the Khazarian Mafia and, uh, yeah, getting a home base in Israel and displacing the real ones. But anyway, I don't know. Um, but I have higher birth defects compared to everyone else for the most part. So here's what they call Goucher. 
Goucher or Gaucher, I'm not sure if it's French, but um, disease where it causes these thin limbs and these pooched stomachs in some cases, right? These poor little kids. And there's a high rate of a lot of these in uh, Ashkenazi. Uh, so you can see there, I'll let you read it and look at it. Yeah, here's the, the hunchback ones, right? Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, and these poochy stomachs and thin limbs. Um, I don't know, you know. Uh, but su this is very uh, significantly more common in individuals of Ashkenazi uh, rather than general population. This part says one in 450 compared to one in 10,000. But some estimates say it may be as much as one in 10 maybe carriers of it. So uh, apparently a lot of carriers um, and a lot more uh, risk of this than in the general population because of most likely inbreeding in a limited gene pool. Uh, these other diseases come along with the Ashkenazi, uh, Tay-Sachs, neurogenerative disorder, 1 in 30. Canavan, neurogenerative disorder, 1 in 40. Cystic fibrosis, autosomal recessive disorder, 1 in 29. Familial dysautonomia <laughs> affects the development, function of certain nerve cells, 1 in 32. We already talked about Goucher or Gaucher, not sure how it's pronounced. You know, you got more. Uh, Mucolipidosis, type 4, affecting the nervous system and other organs, 1 in 127. Neiman pick disease, type A, affecting the nervous system, other organs, 1 in 90, right? And then they, a lot of these uh, offer tests for this stuff so they can, quote unquote, make informed decisions before birth. Maybe they should make informed decisions before breeding uh, because I'm sure a lot of these are aborted. Um, I don't know, man, this is just crazy. And I'm just sharing my thoughts, which may change. And I'm sorry if they're blunt, uh, but just, you know, I mean, you got to speak even if it's going to offend people in this world. And uh, my intention isn't to offend anyone, but to help people see the truth about what's going on. So again, back to the Kleinfelter, supposedly one in 500 males, but to one in a thousand, nobody really knows because it's estimated that only 25 to 50% that have it are actually diagnosed with it. So there's a lot of dudes that have bitch tits like Bob from Fight Club. His name was Robert Paulson, a uh, meatloaf, right? And um, probably micro peens and small testicles and don't know that they have this uh, Kleinfelter. And then Marfan, supposedly one in 5,000. Uh, and it's more of a connective tissue disorder than a XXY chromosome issue. And look, uh, are there like combinations we don't even know about yet? Because like there's a song called YYZ by Rush. So could there be chromosomes we're not even aware of yet? And uh, anyway, I think they reveal a lot of truth in music. So that was just a random thought. But here we go. A case reports a 17-year-old boy diagnosed with Kleinfelter and Marfan. Um, so... Uh, I asked if it were if they were related at all or if they could have them at the same time. So while a person might exhibit features resembling Marfan due to Kleinfelter, it's also possible. For, so even they say that uh, the features of Kleinfelter resemble Marfan, right? But one's a connective and one's a, a chromosome. So I don't know. You tell me in the comments what's going on. Here is, uh, you know, another example of a celebrity that has one of these. I think this was Marfan, right? But again, the examples with Akhenat, and I think are very, very obvious. And the examples in the beginning with comparing like somebody with, with Trump's body, right, to somebody with uh, Kleinfelters were very telling. So I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot to process. But let me know what you think in the comments, questions. Tell me what you think I should also uh, cover in my next videos if you've made it this far. Take care.